Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to another edition of That's Railroad, where we're we bring the railroad to you. <laughs> and we love doing it, too. Crossing over Bridge 6. It was uh, 27 degrees this morning, and I set on at the harbor. Uh, followed the train out. He's up there loading. i got to clear up for him here in a little bit. And today we're going to show you how to, uh, how I put my my little high rail pickup truck on and off the rail. How we set on and off. Okay? So we'll be heading up here to the crossing and uh, get off here in just a few minutes so we can uh, let the train go by. I was uh, out checking the track from uh, the harbor up here to milepost 8 for rail pull aparts had some cold mornings this week and then it gets up to around 55 to 60 during the day which is very nice but that uh, big temperature change the rails move a lot things break a lot you gotta you gotta pay attention to what's going on here in your track anyway what one thing people want to know is uh, how fast can my uh, high rail truck go on the rail. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know how fast it will go. Um, track speed here is 25. And uh, the reason we have a class 2 track, and one of the big reasons why our track speed for the train is 25 is because we have such a high number of uh, high degree curves. Okay. Uh, Typically, when I do a track inspection, I'll run about uh, five miles an hour in this truck or my other high rail truck. And I will do another video sometime on how to set my big high rail truck on and off. We're in our pickup truck here, our Ford. All right. So uh, if I'm traveling to a job site in this truck or my other truck, I'll go probably about 15 miles an hour. That's pretty much what we do with our maintenance away equipment. The tamper regulator is around, the grapple trucks is around 15 miles an hour, typically. You know, if we're, uh, like I said, if we're traveling to uh, a work location. But doing track inspection, I go a lot slower so I can uh, see. Okay, we'll set the, first off, we have this on here. And this locks your steering in place. You don't want these front wheels moving. Oh, sorry about that. But you don't want these front wheels moving in and out. Uh, it'll walk you right off a curve. So you, you keep this on here and keep your high rails, your front wheels, your front rubber wheels on the rail. All right. So two different ways I can do this. I've got two buttons down here. The button on the left turns the high rails on and off. These buttons pick and lower the front and rear high rail. So I can, when I set off, I can use the button here. So I'm taking the front wheels up. Or, let's go out here. And I got them up part way. And I've got another... Uh, button right here okay and I always even if I use the ones on the inside uh, I'll always get out and make sure the high rails are up and off the wheels the rail gear before I uh, get off the crossing the same way in the back I could use the back button or the button in the cab, or I can use this one right here. Okay, we had a little problem with this one there about a month and a half ago. Uh, somebody else was making a track run, and they got off up at the mine, and a bracket on the other side that holds it up broke. Okay, so they chained it up and brought it down to the harbor from the mine. And uh, <laughs> next day, I come up here to Mount Post 8 in this truck on the road, 
and I got part way up here and the other bracket on the other side broke. So I had to drag it along the road for about, I didn't have to drag it very far, about a quarter mile. And I pulled in here and then I had another guy that actually was here fortunately and helped me chain the other side up. So they got a new bracket, had to take the entire high rail gear off and uh, they got a new bracket for it. And actually this is the third time we've been on the rail with the new brackets holding up really well. All right, so there you go. That's how we set off. And uh, as soon as the train passes by, we'll set back on here and I'll show you that. Okay, stay tuned. There's more to come. Well, okay. Hard part about this is you gotta get this uh, back wheel pretty much centered. not like these high rails aren't like my uh, other truck my big high rail truck my big high rail truck to move back and forth but these aren't so we got to move over here just a little bit more over to this side so it'll set down on there okay Let's see where that's at Pretty close. I don't think we're close enough though. Yeah, it might drop on there. Okay, we got that one. Check that wheel. And, uh, Check that wheel. All right, very good. Sometimes you can get this pretty close and sometimes you gotta mess around and it's really hard to uh, get this truck on rail when the rail is wet. It wants to slide off. Okay. Now we'll use our little buttons here. All righty. There you have it. I check all four, make sure their uh, flanges are uh, on the inside of the rails. Now we got to straighten our wheel up. Okay. Get in here. There you go. All right. Very good. There you have it. I always go through go slow through the turnout uh, too, through a frog. All righty. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed today's show. And uh, one thing I did want to tell you too, the uh, the high rail gear in this truck is uh, electric over hydraulic. It's got a hydraulic pump that picks the high rail up and down. Uh, the other big high rail truck just is hydraulics. All right, very grateful for you uh, taking the time to watch have a really good day. Happy rails to you, my friend, until we meet again.